Hi guys, this is Vanilla here. Today I'm going to talk you through a beginner's guide to the fishing trawler mini game, best known for its fishing experience boosting outfit called the Angler's Outfit. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button to make sure that you see all of my latest videos. I'd love if you could give this video a like and a comment to show your support. So the Fishing Trawler is a fishing mini game which is run by Murphy and Port Kazard. Two really exciting rewards you can get from the mini game include the Angler's Outfit and the Heron Pet. The Angler's Outfit is an experience boosting clothing set and it grants 2.5% additional experience when worn while participating in the fishing skill. Each item of the set gives an individual experience bonus and when you have the whole set you actually get a set bonus of 0.5. So the hat gives you 0.4, the top 0.8, the waders 0.6, the angler boots 0.2 and then when you've got the full set you get a bonus of 0.5 adding up to 2.5. You have a 1 in 12 chance of obtaining each piece of the set on the fishing trawler as long as you manage to get at least 50 points during one game. So the set is also required for a master clue step, minnows and a hard combat achievement. Each game takes around 5 minutes and it takes around 4 or 5 hours to get the full set. Having the full angler's set will make sure that you are a fisherman or fisherwoman to be reckoned with, and those without will be incredibly envious of your fancy and practical outfit. If you don't like the look of the angler's outfit, you can actually swap it out for a spirit angler's outfit, which is sort of new. It's got a completely different but equally cool aesthetic, and I'll run through how to do that at the end of the video. It also has the same experience bonuses as the angler's outfit. So another cool thing you can get through the minigame is the heron pet. So if you fill the contribution meter at the end of the game, then you have a 1 in 2,500 chance of obtaining the heron pet which is actually pretty good as far as pets go. If you don't manage to fill the meter, the likelihood is only one in 5,000. So since this is a semi-AFK game, it's perfect for multitasking. It's an amazing opportunity to watch some of my fishing entertainment series at the same time. So I'll put a link to that in my description as well. So you can play the game at any level, but level 15 fishing is required to receive rewards. And equipping any item in the angler's set requires level 34 fishing. It's easier to get the angler's outfit if you work with others, so the best world to go on to is the fishing trawler world, which is world 370. So the items that you need are a bailing bucket and approximately 2,000 swamp paste to get all of your angler items. You can also bring ropes. So I've just got about sort of 10 ropes. Um, you can actually get away without bringing any ropes, but it's just so that you can repair the sail if needed. And I'll, I'll show you exactly what because you might not always need to fix the sail. So if you're an iron man, you can actually buy swamp paste from the nearby general store. If you've got everything ready, just head out onto the boat, which is to the east. You'll enter sort of like a waiting area. If you manage to time it correctly, hopefully you shouldn't be too far away from the next run. So up the top in the middle there's a red symbol sort of saying like no to camera wobble so make sure that you click the camera icon and that the red cross appears over the top because that will make this a lot easier so essentially all we're doing is we're clicking in between two holes and we're just spam clicking it and we click it and then it will fill the leak so it's much easier if you do it between two and if you can get the positioning correct, you will actually be able to get both of the holes just with one mouse positioning. But I do find you sometimes need to just slightly like wobble it a little bit. So what I like to do is try to fill the contribution bar. And the reason for that is because it gives you 
twice as much of a chance at getting the heron pet and it is an amazing pet so that's definitely on my list of things that I want. If you're just looking to get the angler's outfit and you're not interested in the heron pet you actually only need to get 50 points so once you've got your 50 points you can honestly just stand there um, watch my videos or maybe watch Netflix you can just completely relax stand here you spam click once you've filled the bar if you're hoping to get the heron pet and not just the anglers outfit then you don't have much to do really so for me I finished this one a little bit early so I went upstairs as you can see so we're on the deck and you know there's a really nice view so basically in the last probably 10-15 seconds we just want to make sure that the net upstairs so the the sail upstairs it isn't broken so just watching up the top you can see it says if the net is ripped or not so that's what the rope is for if the sail is not fixed by the end of the run then nobody gets rewards so we need to make sure that it's not ripped if you're on a mini game world it's incredibly likely that someone else will actually repair the sail for you which would mean you probably don't even need to um, it really just depends on if you can be bothered or not so now you will be put back on the dock and just inspect the net to see what rewards that you've gotten so you can actually have them sent straight to your bank, you can put them in your inventory or you can just bin them. So that is completely up to you. So hopefully it doesn't take you too long to get the whole set. If you want to swap your angler's outfit for the spirit angler's outfit, all you need to do is visit Gita Prems, one of the spirit anglers at the ruins of Unka. The ruins of Unka can be reached from Al Karid, so I just teleported there with an Amulet of Glory. And then you need to board the Ferryman Southwoods Ferry. So it turns out that it's actually free to board the ferry, so that was a pleasant sort of a surprise. You can probably actually click on the boat rather than talking through the dialogue with him, but I was quite interested to see what he would say. And then you can easily find Gitter once you get her off the boat. Haha. <laughs> so just head to the east. So Gitter offers to change any piece of the angler's outfit into the corresponding spirit angler equivalent for the price of 1,200 spirit flakes per piece. So the whole outfit would cost 4,800 spirit flakes to convert. So spirit flakes are a drop that you receive from looting the reward pool after defeating Temporis. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the Fishing Trawler minigame. If you have any questions, please just drop me a comment. Let me know if you get any cool prizes and good luck for getting to level 99 fishing. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye.